I think it's in the areas of social, <laughs> of social commentary uh, that you probably come closest to uh, people like Morton, things that Morton does. But you also work uh, with your humor in areas that uh, very few, uh, the little anecdote of Costello's notwithstanding, that very few comics work today. You find humor in some of the strangest and sickest aspects of society, like some kid blowing up his mother in a plane or things of this kind. Yeah, well, here's how I, I feel about it. If I start to really analyze my humor, I guess every bit of it stems from some societal problem or people's concept that I think is hypocrisy. Uh, all right, the kid that, uh, remember a couple years ago, a kid, and I did on the album, too, a kid was stuck in the well? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, there was a child that was trapped in the well. Huh? And a doctor attended him. And uh, they got the kid out, and the uh, you know the doctor sent a bill. Right now, the nation screamed. You know what thinks those doctors are? You know <laughs> how about that sending those poor people a bill? You know well naturally the poor person they sent the bill. Let's see, generalized his uh, maybe as a TV repairman, all right? And he's a poor person opposed to the doctor who maybe grosses six or seven thousand dollars a month, a specialist. Right? Okay, but how about the poor TV mirror? That schlub wants to get paid now, Daddy, you know. Mm -hmm. Two dollar home repair, he wants the bread there from the doctor, anyone he wants it from. So the doctor naturally has, he should get paid. So that struck me sort of humorously and bugged me too. Mm -hmm. So I sanitized it and I said that the they sent the doctor bill, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it brought so much heat on the AMA, the American Medical Association, that all the doctors got together, you know. And the doctor kept saying, I want my money. What do you figure? I mean, <laughs> Look, I want the money, man. I stayed out there with the kid, and it was called my legs are chapped, and that's <laughs> it. I want the bread, that's all. I'm giving us split now. Will you stop it now with that money? Look, I want the money, man, and that's all. I don't want to have no hassle. It was, I sent the bill, $63, plus the medicine, and that's it. I want it. That's it. I want the money. I don't want the guy fixing my TV. I want the money. That's it. Yeah. But you stop with the money. We'll get even next year with a new disease, and that's it. Forget about it. Yeah, we'll swing that way. I get the, look, uh, get the guys. Uh, give me a new disease for next year. All right, we're thinking, uh, get the riders up. Give me what, what disease are you working on? Well, we're thinking of switching the grip. Yeah, we didn't do the grip for a while. That's pretty wild. Uh, yeah. yeah, the grip, that's interesting. Let's see, I'll, I'll give you a working title for it. Uh, Asiatic flu. <laughs> okay, send that out. Call up Park Lily, get some new pills. The Spanchels died last year. Uh, call up Leonard Solomon, Solomon's Drugs. <laughs> and get some, I uh, think the greens will go good. And that's it. Okay, doctors, that's it. Asiatic flu, are there any questions? Yeah, what uh, are the symptoms? Sim same bit, nauseous, headache, loss of appetite, all right? All right, why do we tell the people when they want to know where it comes from? Are you kidding? The same bit. It's going around. <laughs> it's going around. Throw in uh, the body is like a tree and throw in those other moron parallels, you know, that they understand your body's like an automobile and if you put the gas on and those other nitwit things, okay? <laughs> that's it. I right, send it out. So that's it. So they got the uh, kid, you know, out of the well, and the report came from Patchogue, New York, that the child is out of the well, the doctor bill will not have to be paid. Of course, the child will have to be returned to the well. <laughs> <laughs> and that is like, uh, you know. Which is